Hi, good morning and warm welcome to today's episode of Investment Mastery Series. My name is Sheetal Gurung from Women on Wealth and today I'm going to talk about something really, really crucial, something I like to talk about a lot, I think, uh, because I could see myself con uh, constantly working on this and which is I'm, I'm really excited to share uh, from my life as well and what works in our community. Hi Divya, hi Garima, hi Diksha. Thank you guys for joining me, Kalpana. Warm welcome, everyone. So, you know, we often, uh, as you know, we are a community of women investors. We've all learned about investing right here and we continue to be in the community. And when we meet up monthly, uh, you know, a lot of the times, so we have our monthly community meet us, a lot of the times we ask our community members, what is that one thing you're struggling with in becoming a good investor? Or what is that one thing we definitely need to be a good investor? And the answer almost always is discipline. Now, whether you are currently investing or not, I think you would agree with me when I say that discipline is important in, uh, in anything. And so is the case with investing. We need to bring about that discipline. Um, but knowing it is different from really translating it into uh, doing it, to really being disciplined in something. And uh, I am going to share what has worked for me in bringing about the discipline. Of course, I, con I continue to work, work on it and I'm going to share bits and pieces from my life as well. Okay, and if I'm, if I'm looking towards my right, it's because I have some notes made for everyone here. So um, one of the f first and foremost things in, um, in bringing about the discipline is to, when we try and bring about the discipline, there's a certain habit uh, that we are building. Uh, and in continuing with that habit, a certain mindset is getting built. And that mindset allows us to continue doing what we want to do to achieve what we want in our life, right? So one of the first things to do would be to schedule. Okay, because one of the biggest reasons we give to not getting started or something or not being able to do something is the lack of time. And which is why the first thing to do will be to schedule. Okay, take time out. Look at your day, look at your week, if not a week, but look at your day to day or look at just tomorrow and, and see where is the time. And uh, some of the tools that I use in scheduling myself so that I don't miss out on things that I want to do, want to be doing towards building a discipline, towards building discipline in a certain area is um, I will use the alarm clock so that I'm reminded and hence it takes care of the problem of, oh, I forgot. So the first thing to do would be to really look at where do I have the time to really do this. Um, so scheduling tool I use is I either set an alarm. Now over a long period of time, I've also gotten used to using Google Calendar. I use it extensively as part of my work. So everything that I need to do, whether it's personal, whether it's professional, I would, or whether it's just me time, I will put it on the calendar. So it takes, we all have 24 hours, so you know what is gonna happen when. So these are the two tools I extensively use. The third tool I use also is a buddy. So anytime I want to start something, I'll see if there is somebody who's willing to do it with me. And that also is a great um, tool in ensuring that we schedule and lot, uh, and some of the uh, community members who are in the money gym program, you may have heard me tell you that even before you go and open the course and begin on your learning journey, first take time out, look at when are you going to do it. So that's point number one is really take time out and schedule, put it there, tell yourself this 15 minutes, this 30 minutes, it's for this. Okay. Now the next thing is here, you have scheduled it. Point number two is to show up. If you schedule but don't show up, nothing's going to get built. So I, I'm going to bring something that um, I read by James Clear and he is the amazing author of the amazing book Atomic Habits. And uh, I've read that book, love it. We've read it in the Money Book Club community. 
So highly, highly recommend it. And uh, James Clear says that um, the truth is a habit must be established before it can be improved. If you can't learn the basic skill of showing up, then you have little hope of mastering the finer details. We can go about saying a lot of things about, okay, I want to do this, that, and all of that. But if we are not showing up, then there's nothing to improve. So I really find this powerful. Um, and I think showing up is a conscious choice, which means that if I've set an alarm and the alarm goes off and I choose to, then there is a moment where I need to make a choice right whether i choose to show up or not so please and and you know my choice depends on um why i am do it so there's a deeper level there where uh do i want to show up now and why do i want to show up so if building a great financial future is your reason is your why you know or, or breaking out of the current money pattern is your reason why then then you choose showing up, okay? And something that I'm again uh, picking this from uh, James Clear um, is a lot of the times also there is that procrastination. I'm the queen of procrastination. And uh, he talks about this two minute rule and um, which just says that if something can be done in two minutes, then just do it. Don't put it off for something else, right? There can be so many such things. And if you can totally relate with me, then please do keep in the keep typing in the comment if what I'm sharing resonates with you too. Or you know, just human human things, right? So that's point number two. Show up because it is important to you, right? Now the third thing I think in really building that discipline is to be able to sustain what we have um, decided to do, the actions that we've begun to take, the habit we're building, sustain it. And uh, my secret to sustaining any habit is uh, number one, to automate as much as possible. <laughs> Just automate it. And so a lot of my uh, investments are all automated. So. Um, wherever possible it's automated otherwise alarms are set or you know notifications come and uh, the number two um, thing that works in helping me sustain what I'm uh, building is really to be with people um, by now I have realized I admit that um, you know I do it better when I do it with people I'm more of the let's do it together kind of a woman so I just create a group of people and then we do it, whether it's working out in the morning, whether it's studying something, right? Or whether it is trying out something new for the community, let's just do it. That's why I have my Women on Wealth squad team here with me, or I have the money gym team. You know, I have my yoga team in the morning. So because uh, sustaining requires that we that uh, you know that we don't come in the way of our own progress and it's natural for us to not want to do something be lazy or whatever may be the reason so which is why to sustain it um, I, I automate things that I can especially with money and number two I do it with people and never alone okay um, so that's one, uh, one thing. Um, and of course, while I am in the process, I do hear myself chatter a lot, you know, that there's this little voice that keeps telling me, why do I have to do this? This is so boring, you know, this is so difficult. But I keep acknowledging that I can hear this going inside of me, but I just keep moving. So that's another thing that I have, that I am now aware to, that this happens uh, to me. Um, and a, uh, and a bonus, so I'm just going to summarize. We talked about three things. One is to schedule. Number two is to show up. Number three is to sustain. And I also shared some of the tools I use to really build on all of these. And the bonus sharing that I have for you is to start small. Uh, again, I'm going to reference James Clear and his book, Atomic Habits, where we learned that um, 
one percent bringing about one percent improvement and we all swear by it in our community one percent improvement one percent is a little under 15 minutes it's 14 minutes something so one percent improvement can bring about 37 times improvement in an entire year so start small 15 minutes whether it is you uh, watching the money gym videos because it's so new just just open the videos and watch it for 15 minutes to begin right sometimes we don't get started because we feel that something is going to take uh, one hour two hours and immediately we switch off saying i don't have that much time um, even if it is filling up an nps form sometimes that can be really a drag sometimes it takes time but even those forms for example you can work on it for 15 minutes and a lot of these forms now you can come back to them later on and continue so i have done that uh, so which is why I think 1% improvement daily is the key in any area. Okay, so that's what I wanted to share from my life, my journeys, you know. I want to now listen to everybody here who's here. Samreen, Anshu, Anshita, Surili, um, Arpita is saying, love the concept of buddy up, cheers to wow community, schedules show up, sustain. Absolutely, so three things. Just schedule, show up, sustain. So what are you getting? What are you taking back from today's investment mastery series, guys? Please put it in the chat. Is discipline something that you need to bring about, whether in money or in other areas of your life? Sonam Russell is saying, very true, about two minutes. Yes, if you can do it in two minutes, just do it. Like this morning, I got a notification that my Amazon Prime renewal is going to happen on the 14th of Feb. Uh, that day I'm going to be charged 1499 rupees so it didn't take me two minutes I just followed the instructions they sent me in the message and I unsubscribed otherwise I who knows I could have forgotten it right um, Dan it is saying such simple but long-term valuable tips Arpita is saying Google calendar to the go 15 minutes slots for improvement Nithya, Nithya is saying consistency small small changes buddy up and one person every day absolutely and it really works okay uh, it really works so please keep sharing as you do this and if you liked today's sharing I in in a couple of minutes it will be available on our Instagram page and you can always share it as an insta story to many of your friends um, it takes nothing but just one minute not even one percent but one minute of your day to just share that okay so thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Kavya, for the comment and uh, lots of love. And I'll keep seeing you around. Um, so just know that if any of you haven't done the Money Gym program, that enrollments are on for the Money Gym program. Um, and if any of you haven't attended our free introduction session, then please attend it. Okay. Um, so the link to join the webinar is in the bio of our Instagram page. Okay. So thank you so much. Lots of love. Thank you, Sonam. I will soon make the video available. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.